So when naive T cells recognize a peptide, they bind a rec uh, they bind to recognize a peptide um, in a lymph node presented by a professional antigen presenting cells. This naive T cell, great, it's great. It's got a T cell receptor that has this antigen binding site that binds this peptide that's most likely uh, from a pathogen. And that's great. So this T cell we learned uh, will become an activated T cell via T cell activation. It will proliferate and it will differentiate into an effector T cell. So if it's a CD8 uh, effector cell, it'll be cytotoxic and go and hunt down cells that are presenting that peptide and kill those cells. If it's a CD4 effector cell, it will release cytokines that will control the immune response. Well, something else that happens here as well is the production of memory T cells. So when T cells proliferate, uh, most of them differentiate into effector T cells. Some of them differentiate into a memory T cells. So these cells have this T cell receptor that recognize that peptide. And these cells will wander the body for the rest of your life, um, typically um, rec trying to look for that peptide again, if that virus comes back in a year or five years or 10 years or 20 years. So if you become reinfected by that same pathogen and that same peptide is presented to T cells, specifically the memory T cells, these T cells will activate. So the, the memory T cells are more numerous than um, any possible naive T cell that might re try to recognize that peptide again. So if that same peptide reappears in the body, you have many memory T cells that recognize that peptide already. You don't have to go digging through all your naive T cells to try to find one that happens to have a variable region in the alpha and the beta chain that happen to bind that peptide. So these memory T cells are more numerous. They are easier to activate. So that whole process of T cell activation uh, much easier to accomplish if for memory T cells. And they are much longer lived. And we know that uh, naive T cell cells actually live for a very long time. It turns out memory T cells also live for a very long time. Um, and these memory T cells actually, they can hunt for this peptide in tissues already. So naive T cells, they have to be exposed to peptide in lymph nodes. So the pathogen has to be drained of the lymph node or carried by dendritic cells into the lymph node. Whereas memory T cells, uh, the ones that function in uh, organs and tissues, actually can enter tissues uh, pretty quickly. And when they do, they're going to have their effector function, either CD4 or CD8 effector function, pretty immediately. So uh, memory T cells give you lifelong protection uh, in that they recognize this pathogen and they will recognize it for the rest of your life, hopefully, um, and activate very quickly and help eliminate the pathogen before you feel the symptoms of infection.